Good morning, St. Thomas More. A few important announcements from guidance. First, for our grade 12 and 12 plus university and college bound students, your grade 11 and 12 final marks, as well as your semester one midterm marks, have been uploaded to OUAC and OCAS. Please verify that all your marks are there and that they are correct. Please report any discrepancies to guidance as soon as possible as your university and college admissions will depend on it. A reminder that the deadline to submit your university application is January the 15th and your college application is February the 1st. Secondly, there are a number of you that have not completed your 40 hours of Christian service. The potential graduates list will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. If you have not completed your hours, your name will not be on it. Also, if your hours are, are not submitted to the guidance office by March 1st, you will not be participating in this year's graduation ceremony. In order to have your name on the potential graduates list, you must be on track to earn 30 credits before the end of this year have completed your 40 hours of Christian service, have either passed the literacy test or are taking the literacy course, and have earned your one e-learning credit or opted out of e-learning. If any of these items are missing, your name will not be on the list. Please see Ms. Vesperini Jordan or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Class of 2024, have you paid your $100 grad fee through School Cash Online yet? If not, please do so as soon as possible as guest tickets to the grad ceremony will be distributed in order of those who have paid first. Also, please provide your grad gown height through the Grade 12 Guidance LMS page if you have not already done so. Finally, a message for all students. Semester two timetable changes are happening right now. Please do not wait until the beginning of semester two to make a timetable change as there will be very limited opportunity for you to do so. Have a great day, STM. Good morning. This is an announcement on behalf of the Christmas Miracle Committee and our winter clothing drive organizers. Thank you to all of you who donated winter clothing for our families in need. It was a very successful clothing drive. We still have some items available, so if you haven't yet had the chance to pick up some winter clothing for you or your family members, please come by Student Success. After this week, the items will be donated to a nearby charitable organization and you will be directed there if you need any additional items. Please see us in Student Success in room 104 ELL Student Success <coughs> or speak to Ms. Saranko or your guidance counselor if you have any questions. Thank you. Good morning, STM. I am here with a wrestling announcement. As you can tell by my voice, we had a very good tournament on Friday. Friday, we took a small group of wrestlers uh, to Blessed Trinity in Grimsby. <clears throat> it was our first tournament where rookie boys and rookie girls weren't divided, so it's just, all boys and all girls. So it was really interesting to see how our kids did. Grade nine, grade 10 boys and girls against grade 12s. So we took a small team, but we did quite well. Fourth place finishes were from Luca Capretta, Joshua Burt, Santiago Restrepo, Aaron Gregory, and Michael Asari Kawaki, who won five matches and just missed out on getting a medal. Third place finishes were from Victor Panna, Second place finishes were from Nathan Evangelista, who's only a grade nine and he beat some older, much older kids and just was a little tank. Our only girl that was able to break the top three were, was Jennifer DiMaderos, who got second. And we had two gold medalists, Aiden Cook and Mohammed Al Shadat, who's also a grade nine. So overall, it was a very successful tournament. We came fourth in the boys' division out of 34 teams and fifth overall with only three girls competing. We won 61 matches on Friday, which um, is why I don't have a voice. So this Friday, we're taking a small group of kids to a national tournament at Bishop Ryan. And then next week, next Friday, we have our very own STM wrestling tournament being hosted here. 
I am in still, we are still in need of heavyweight boys and girls, any girls, no experience necessary. You get to try and beat up your teacher, which is pretty awesome. So um, any girls, heavyweight boys, come see me at any time. I am back in the school and um, I can beat you up later. Okay, have a great day, STM. I am Chinese. I am Russian. I am East African. I'm Canadian. I am Filipina. I am Irish. I am Bulgarian. Korean. I am American. I am Brazilian. Italian. Mexican. I'm British. Swedish. French. I'm Israeli. Mongolian. I'm Saudi. Japanese. I'm we are mankind. I'm Kiara and I'm Fia and we're here from your Halloween for Hunger committee. For those that aren't aware, every student that volunteered to deliver flyers for Halloween for Hunger this year was automatically entered into a raffle to win a prize. The following 10 students' names will now be called who were randomly picked can head down to room 352 to claim their prizes once announcements are done with your teacher's permission. The students that have won are Lucia Oliveira, Gina David, Troy Dam, Bethany Yawson, Lena G Gar, Kasile Zubi, Jasmine Rose, Noor Ahmed, Yakub Babari, and Evan Stevens. Once again, please go to room 352 after announcements with your teacher's permission to claim your prize from the raffle. Thanks to your help and the help of all STM students, from simply buying a cookie from our bake sale to joining the planning committee and taking on a huge role, we raised 7,500 pounds of food and over $42,000. Thank you to all that contributed and volunteered for H4H for H because you have helped us make a huge difference in our community. Thanks, Thanks SCM. SCM. Excellent job on your first donation. Thank you. It is a quick and easy way to save a life. We got a confirmation and we got a reminder after we registered along with tips like hydrating and having something small to eat beforehand. And checking in was really easy. We both got our first time donor stickers so that the staff would know that we were new to the process. We'll be back in a couple months for sure. Grade 12s, do you need community service hours while looking to help those in need? Well, you're in luck. With more need than ever before, the Canadian Blood Services are looking for donors. You can get up to eight community service hours and transportation is provided. Our first donation day is the morning of Tuesday, December 12th. Sign-up sheets will be available in student success and an email will be sent out to volunteers shortly after. Limited spots are available, so don't delay. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. D. Giovanni in student success. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria. And I'm Miguelie, and here are your announcements for today. A reminder for all senior boys volleyball members to please get their jerseys to one of the coaches ASAP. The volunteers for the elementary school hockey tournament should meet after school today in the health room, room 241. This Friday, your senior boys basketball team is playing in their home tournament, the Chancellor. There is an opportunity for all grade 11, 12, and 12 pluses to buy in for the team's Friday morning game at 9 a.m. Tickets are on sale on School Cash Online for $2 until Thursday. Buy in and support the team. The meeting of the STM Math Club, originally scheduled for tomorrow, has been moved to next Wednesday after school in Portable 3. Next week's meeting will include a mega math challenge, and all students are welcome and encouraged to come. Anyone with questions should see Mr. Castellani. Good luck to our novice girls volleyball team in their first game of the season as they play Cathedral in our home gym. Players are asked to be dressed and ready in the gym by 315. Thanks from your coaches. The junior girls volleyball team will take on Cathedral in our home gym at 530. Please be there by 5. Go Knights! And now for your sports. The girls hockey team opened the season with a convincing win over SJB. Sadie D'Angela had a hat trick. Angelica Morconi scored two goals while Mary Hedgecock and Emma Knowles had singles. Angelina Berardi and Jasmine Poirier combined for the shutout. Last night, the boys hockey team opened their season with a 5-2 victory over rival Brabuff. Liam Keogh opened the scoring, followed by two goals apiece from Joey Sinclair and rookie Calogero Pereira. Joseph Paymont was excellent between the pipes. Next action is Thursday versus BR. Boys are asked to attend a brief meeting after school today in the health room. Thanks, STM. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.26, and remember, it's a great day to be a knight.